So in my old hardcore world, I started a project that I never really finished because I kept getting bored. And now that I'm looking at the area that we've built here, I think that the old project would fit really well. Right here. For this project though, I will need a pretty big hole. In my old world, I actually tried to dig out the entire thing, which explains why I quit. So this time, I will use the destructive properties of TNT. I, I, a lot of it. I'm gonna need a lot of TNT. How... How did you get there, my friend? To get all the gunpowder, I'm gonna make a creeper farm because, well, my mob farm doesn't nearly get me enough. For this farm, I will need a lot of hoppers and dispensers. I got the hoppers covered, but the dispensers will need some string, which means I have to change some things about my mob farm. You see, right now, all the spiders that spawn in here just kinda hang around the wall and, and that's it. So by putting magma blocks, the spiders will actually die if they try to sit on the wall which will either bring them down to the campfires or they'll just die and drop their loot. Whatever it is, I'm fine with it. Now that I have all the dispensers I'll ever need, I need to figure out where I actually want to build this farm. You see, the optimal location for a farm like this would be on top of a large body of water. This way, there's no land for mobs to spawn on outside of the farm, so everything spawns inside the farm. Kinda like my spawn. You see, there's a handful of chunks near the location where you spawned that will stay loaded in forever. So no matter how far away you go, things will still be happening in there. Which means that this farm will work even when I'm at home. Or like, collecting sand for 6 hours. And I spawn on the coast, which means that there's an ocean right next to my spawn. Okay, let's build this thing. First I'll need to make a little shaft for the creepers to fall from, so they don't, like, land here. Or, or there. Th that would be a problem. After this, I needed an area where the creepers will be funneled into the hole. You know towards their death. I, uh, I ran out of cobblestone. Okay, mining cobblestone manually just takes way too long. I wonder if there's any way to speed up the process. And that's when I got an idea. You see, people use beacons in order to mine really fast. So all I had to do was grab my beacon and bring it here. Wait, this isn't... Oh yeah, no, I, I, I got it. Wait, I don't have any iron. All right, guess I'm going back. Ouch. God damn it. Okay, pause. So my dumbass past self thought that I wasn't insta mining because I didn't have a netherite pickaxe. So I spent the next 15 minutes looking for netherite, which is actually some really good luck, but still. Wait, huh? It's the I, I had to click click here, not not over here. Yep, that's that's roughly the speed I expected. And done. So I removed a good chunk of the coast and now I can finally finish building this thing. Honestly, I could have just mined it because I like took an hour to get everything because I had no clue what the fuck I was doing. But uh, it's, 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 it's fine. All right, now all I got to do is just a little bit of building and done. Wait, no, no, it isn't. This is, this is just a mob farm. I, I have to put like a thousand trapdoors. But um, did anyone ever tell you how expensive trapdoors were? I bet they did not. Two trapdoors need six planks. A Minecraft tree is about five logs tall. So that's three trees for every 10 trap doors, which isn't even a single layer. I need like 20 for a layer. In order to do the whole farm, I need to destroy like the entire forest. Luckily it's birch, so I don't care. And now for the fun part, it's time to collect some gunpowder. I'm bored. Okay, yeah, we're we're going up in the world. We're getting some some gunpowder. Well, that's an issue, obviously. I'm gonna fix that once it's day. So, oh, why do I have my? Okay. Um, let's just blow it up so I can be done with this. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the fact that this might go and like go over there and maybe even there. Well, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh fuck. Oh god, oh fuck. Has it has it stopped? Is it done? Wow, that was small. Oh, I'm sorry. You thought that was it. You thought I was done. This? You call this a hole. This is nowhere close to being a hole. This is merely the entrance. I'll show you a real hole. I'll show you a real explosion. I'll blow up a hundred thousand. No, no, no. 10,000 more TNT than before. I'll blow us into the core of the earth. I'll rip straight through my own slime farm. I'll leave nothing behind but bedrock and dust. dust.
and all of that after this epic, incredibly engaging, unimaginably creative TNT gathering montage. So it's been a couple hours and I, uh, I think I have enough. Now I'll just have to gather some more sand and we're ready. So this is worth roughly like a thousand TNT, which seems like enough. So I finished placing all the TNT and uh, it barely covered up the wall. On that side. Yup, even a thousand TNT is nowhere near the explosion I need. And so we go back to the gunpowder farm. I woke up early the next day, turned on the farm and just kind of went out to like do my life, you know? And then as I came back, well, let's just say I had more than enough. Now I'll just need to get more sand and then we can get off- wait, how am I gonna transport all these items? And so I got to thinking, and thinking I did. I tried to figure out a way to do this without using shulkers, as end cities are my least favorite thing ever. The stairs just- just- they suck, I hate them. But well, I- I guess I'm- I'm fated to fall down these stairs one more time. More like 10 more times. I needed at least like a stack of shulker shells in order to make all the boxes I needed. Which means I had to explore pretty much every end city within a hundred thousand block radius of the portal. This took- uh, actually it didn't took all too long. Uh, it was- it was generally pretty doable compared to the rest. Anyways, now that we have these shulkers, we can finally mine some Nope, no, nope, we can't. We can't get the sand yet. There's, uh, there's still this issue. So my shovel already got this far down from collecting enough sand for a thousand TNT. So if I want to make ten thousand, I'm gonna need a better XP farm. And so I set my journey to the end once more, and I made a nifty little Enderman farm. It's actually the first time I made one of these things. And now I can finally dig up some sand, which I did for like six hours. Now all I had to do was just craft TNT for like an hour. Why do I do this to myself, man? And it was finally time to fill up the hole. I, I really did not expect like filling a hole with TNT to be the most boring part of the video, but it, it, it really was. I really should have just used an auto clicker because my finger genuinely just started hurting, which isn't good, you know, finger shouldn't hurt. So, uh, it's, uh, it's a tip for the next time. Anyways, it's now time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, 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 I hear it. Get out, get out. <laughs> oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm lagging so fucking bad. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, the lag seems to be gone. It's still going, dude. But the water's reached it, right? That's a waste. Well, I guess it's still blowing up stuff. Wow, it, it, it's shooting all the way up here. I need to step back. If you enjoyed yourself, then I would love for you to press that little button. Because in the next episode, I will turn this hole into a massive axolotl paradise. And hey, if you leave a nice comment, I might even name an axolotl after you. Who knows? <laughs>